Hello all, welcome back. In this video, I want to do a little ink swatching. Some inks that I've received from Birmingham Pen Company recently. Um, they had a, a bundle sale where you received five, you received five uh, 60 mils and then one 30 mil bottle of ink. And this 30 mil bottle was like a surprise color. And then I have some that I also bought previously. Um, this I showed in my Pilot Justice video is their Tesla coil. The Tesla coil goes down blue and then it dries to a nice red, reddish blue, purplish. And you see it has a nice sheen there. So I just wanted to do the same kind of swatching for these new for these, uh, for the bundle. Again, the bundle was um, five 60 mils and one 30 mil for $55. I don't, I don't think the sale is still going on, but um, if you uh, sign up for their emails and texts, they'll let you know when they have others. So this first one is Smoke Box. So let's see what smoke box looks like. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. Actually, I'm going to move this out of the way so I can zoom in. So again, this first one is smoke box. Nothing fancy here, just using Q tip. So, this is a, I guess, kind of a gray. A little bit of a purple to it. I'm a big fan of the um, diamond, diamond faux gray, but that's more of a, a black gray. So that's the smoke box. I'm just going to use my Moon Man dip pen. So. Birmingham Pen Company, and this is Smoke Box. You can see it's nice and it's a lot darker when you using the pen. Not a bad color. I like it. So who do we have next? We have Blue Bonnet. You see that nice blue there through the bottle. Let's see. Ooh, that's a nice blue. I love um, swatching. This is the first time I've done it on camera, aside from the uh, Tesla coil. But this is just something I like to do when I don't have anything to do. It's just relaxing. That's a nice color. Deep, rich color. Very nice. See how it looks in pen. Very nice.
They have a lot of uh, nice blues at um, Birmingham. This order also, like my last order, took a while to get to me. But I'll say all in all, they're more than worth their weight. Or worth the weight. So this is Apple Snail. Looks red on the Q-tip, but it's actually a yellow. Kind of a, mm, not really a mustard. I don't know how I would describe that. How dark I can get it. There's a little bit of red in there. Hmm, that's interesting. It's probably a nice color to draw with. And that's a right with. I think I have some blue bonnet left. This is Apple Snail. Nice uh, shading in that. I'll give it that. Yep. Not a bad color. So these are the what we have. Smoke box, blue bonnet, and apple snail. Next. Next we have cast iron. And this is, I'm assuming, a grayish black. I'm not sure. It's kind of dark. So let's see. Cast iron. See on the Q-tip. It's pretty dark. Oh yeah, that's just a nice black. Pretty good. 5 60 mil, 60 mil bottles and one 30 mil bottle for $55 and say pretty good deal and bam cold cast iron very nice black. Next up, what do we have? We have electric patina. This is also kind of a a bluish with some see a little sheen to it let's see oh it's green it's like a greenish blue a very dark greenish blue oh, that's very pretty Feels like a very thick ink. So this ink may not be for for all pens. Like the Tesla Tesla coil. I wouldn't recommend that for for just every pen. Very pretty. Electric Patina. Oops. 
like the patina. And this here is Heavy Crude. This is what they they called their surprise. Maybe it's a new color, I'm not sure. But heavy Crude is probably, yeah, something dark. See how I can pass the cast iron. It's kind of a grayish black. This is more along the lines of, of the diamond Earl Grey, I, th I, I think. It's nice as well. And this one that I bought separately. This is muskrat. I'm not sure if I've tried muskrat yet. What is, what is that? Can't really see in the bottle. It's kind of what a dark maroon. Hmm, it's a brown. I should figure that I like brown inks, like the sepias, the diplomat black sepia. This is just a basic brown. It's okay. Probably good to draw with. Not very exciting to write with, I don't think. So this is Lampin Company. They do have interesting names for their their inks. Some of them are based on landmarks in Pennsylvania. But muskrat, I guess it's just the the animal. So I have three others that I bought. When I bought the boiler steam that I, I'll try out while I'm here. So I'll show you these up close. That's the cast iron, electric patina, heavy crude, and the muskrat. And last up, we have boiler steam, elderberry, and oil beetle. Bullet steam is another bluish tinge ink. It's bullet steam. You see the blue? And they have different categories for the inks. Uh, some are water soluble easy to wash away. Some are permanent. Some are these sheeny inks. And I think they have another category that I could get. Their Keystone formula. That's a nice, what is that? Considered teal. I don't see any sheen in it, but it is a nice, 
nice color. Don't want to lay it on too thick. I don't want it to to run through. This is a um this is a fairly cheap notebook that I I got on Amazon. Paper, whatever that is, paper age, paperage that it really does pretty well. There's one that it ran through. But for the most part, it doesn't doesn't bleed. So the pen. This is Birmingham Pen Company. Or steam. Or steam. Next up is oil beetle. And this is also looks like a blue. So went a little overboard on the blues, but you really can't have too many blue inks. Oh, it's a bluish green. It looks a lot like the polar steam actually. Maybe the bullish thing is just a just a tad bit bluer. This is a definitely a drier ink. I'm doing the standing up and it's kinda awkward. They look a lot of light to me. Are they the same? Hmm. Maybe this one's just a tad bit darker. They look pretty much the same to me. Old Beetle. Here we have one more. And this one is elderberry. Elderberry, if I recall, is a purplish. I have these band-aids on and they just Band-aid and Q-tips don't work together. So it's a light purple. Some pretty nice shading to it. It's a thin ink. Let's see how watery it is compared to Tesla coil and the oil beetle. So Birmingham Pen Co. Um, it's a berry. It's elderberry. So that is my swatching of the Birmingham Pen Company. My recent order is Bowler Steam and Oil Beetle, which the exactly alike to me and the elderberry. So 
and go to others. Those. That's nice. I like that yellow. As far as sheen, the blue bonnet does sheen a little bit like the Tesla coil. The electric patina has a nice sheen to it. And nothing there so far. But that's it for my inks watching for today. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.